You might have seen the Netflix documentary about blue zones, the regions of the world where there's a lot more centenarians than on average. But one of the funniest and probably one of the most misleading thing about the diets of these longevity hotspots was that the people in Sardinia and Nicosia were mostly pastoralists and goat herders. And the documentary made it seem that these goat herders and pastoralists they don't actually eat any of their animals or they don't eat any of the products made from those animals. They just eat plants. The five pillars of every longevity diet in the world are whole grains, greens, tubers like sweet potatoes, nuts and beans. So in this video, I'm going to look into the studies that look at the diets of these people in specifically the Sardinian region and the Nicosia in Costa Rica. I'm the party pooper. So the first study that caught my attention is by Pes and Pauline, who are the original researchers of the centenarians in Sardinia. So these are the guys who actually coined the term blue zones. So it wasn't Dan Buettner, the author of the documentary, who created the term. It was these guys back in the early 2000s. So here's the graph of the finding of this study. You can find what kind of different foods they eat on a daily basis and what they eat less frequently. When it comes to meat-based foods like beef, pork, sheep, goat, and chicken meat, then almost none of those people actually eat meat on a daily basis. Very few people eat it even on a weekly basis, and most of these foods are consumed a few times per month. The foods that are consumed on a daily basis include cereals, such as whole grains and bread, potatoes, cheese, and milk. Other foods consumed more on a weekly basis a few times per week, three to five servings or one to two servings per week include legumes, leafy greens, pasta, coffee and lard. So people in the Sardinia longevity hotspot, they're not necessarily plant-based. They're definitely not animal-based either. Like they don't eat meat every day. They don't eat large amounts of meat, but they are certainly eating a lot of dairy foods because they're pastoralists. <laughs> that makes sense. If you raise goats and sheep, then you're gonna get milk and you can make cheese out of those products. So it makes sense that these people, they are eating obviously dairy products, but they're also eating other foods that are mostly plant-based like cereals and breads. Another 2020 study that involved the author Pes looked at both the diets of Nicosia in Costa Rica and Sardinia. They found a pretty similar trend in the foods consumed on a daily basis. Both men and women in Sardinia, as well as in Nicosia, eat cereals on a daily basis. They also consume milk on a daily basis. Dairy foods except milk, which includes you know, cheese and other dairy products like yogurt. Then there is a trend of daily consumption in both Sardinia and Nicosia, but the people in Sardinia consume significantly more dairy products than the ones in Nicosia. People in Nicosia consume coffee on a daily basis, where Sardinians consume a few servings per week. And people in Nicosia eat legumes on a daily basis, where Sardinians consume legumes a few times per week. When it comes to fish and meat consumption, then both Sardinians and Nicosians have a similar trend. They don't eat a lot of meat and fish every day and mostly do it a few times per week. It appears that Nicosians eat a little bit more meat than Sardinians and do it more frequently. Pasta and potatoes have a very similar trend a few times per week. And when it comes to salads, then it's a few times per week for both of these populations. So what these studies show is that the people in these longevity hotspots that actually eat a slightly different diet than the people around them, for example, the people in the Sardinian blue zone eat a slightly different diet than the average Sardinian. And likewise, people in the Costa Rican longevity hotspot in Nicosia eat a slightly different diet than the rest of Costa Rica, but their diet is quite plant heavy. So they're definitely not like plant based because a lot of their calories come from dairy products and cheese, but they're certainly not animal based either. And the diets of Sardinians and Nicosians is different from the diets of Okinawans or Loma Lindens in California. The point that I'm really trying to make here is that there is no like specific blue zone or longevity diet. People can live quite long on many different kinds of diets and you have different diets, slightly different versions of the diets in different longevity hotspots. Overall, there's a lot of different factors that contribute to the longevity of these people. And we actually don't know whether or not the findings of these people living longer is actually accurate. There's a lot of birth certificate fraud that goes on in these regions and we're not fully sure that these people actually are as old as they are. Regardless, there are a lot of other factors that contribute to their longevity, such as having a small close community, being close with their friends and family, having a faith-based community and having a sense of purpose, staying physically active all throughout their lifetime, not overeating calories and not having ultra-processed food in their diet. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like
like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.